proud to announce the Black Friday box is officially live and for sale now at HartfordLTD.com. The black on black, it's okay to not be okay collection. We also have these crewnecks that are available. They're super warm and comfy and I love the fit on them. Inside of the box, this is what you're gonna get. A beautiful box that makes a perfect gift for the holidays and inside of it, we have an It's Okay to Not Be Okay black on black t-shirt, a black on black return to life, and It's Okay to Not Be Okay jet tag. Can't forget the stickers. And one of my favorite additions, the zip ties. And it's so appropriate that when you need a zip tie, you have something to remind you that it's okay to not be okay. And the final item is something that is so highly requested that I really only do once a year and that's a signed poster by yours truly. So make sure you guys get the Black Friday collection now available at hartfordltd.com. One of my favorite things to do every year and we always sell out, so make sure you don't sleep on the drop and you get some while supplies last. Thank you guys for your continued love and support. The twin turbo C8 Corvette is back from SEMA and your girl is finally back from shooting a major motion picture film in Hungary, in Budapest. And if you follow me on Instagram, then you saw that the movie's officially been announced. Your girl has been filming Gran Turismo, the movie. Yes, the video game. Yes, PlayStation and Sony is turning that into a film following the real life story of Jan when Nissan partnered with Gran Turismo and picked the world's fastest sim racer to compete and race for Nissan professionally. So it's a true story. I'm incredibly excited for you guys to see it. The movie will be in theaters with Orlando Bloom and David Harbour and the incredible director Neil Blomkamp who also did District 9 and so many other people that I can't name right Right now next August this coming August 2023 not only that we hit a million subscribers on YouTube thank you to you guys but as always we got to get on the road <laughs> Check in on the electrical issue on the 458 and how that's going on. Mitch told me to text him as I was getting close, but what fun is it driving a loud car if you have to text your friends that you've arrived? <laughs> It's okay to not be okay zip ties. Can I get a smaller set too? This is awesome. <laughs> I don't think it's a gift for me. Hold on, let me Who's sneeze. That? You're that. Let me sneeze. Oh. How did that happen? Yeah. Yeah. But to be clear, this is chasing the starter failure issue that pops up on the dash. You guys thought maybe it was ignition. You're chasing a very fun electrical issue under the dash. What we're trying to avoid is the 5.8 we know has transmission problems. The harness is internally in the transmission. The fault code for the car is starter relay transmission close Wait, so really? yeah oh god so, we just jumped to worst case scenario real so quick <laughs> the easiest thing for me to do is tell you i need to take the transmission out we know that these transmissions have problems wiring problems mm -hmm. there's five eights that have never been touched that have problems like sure. that and we haven't we have never seen that specific code for this usually whenever we get a starter fault or an electrical fault it's it's always we trace ourselves back to a a bad battery or a low battery or, right. or bad connections on the battery. But that would have been too easy. Oh, of course, of course. <laughs> I can tell you for sure all of the wires behind this dashboard are pinched and screwed up. There were a bunch that were that were pinched between the actual glove box and the fuse like in this neighborhood here. Which is probably when the aftermarket stereo was installed. The one thing that is that I don't like which is going to make me actually pull the glove box lining out so we can get in to see this is if you you see all of these relays this one Oh, she a loosey goosey. Yeah, I mean, I can move them all, but this one is just totally flopping around. This one actually has to do with the starter. We're gonna fingers crossed because if it's not that relay, which it looks like it may be, then that means possibly dropping the transmission. And I don't know if I want to do that. And if that's the case, you know, I think the glow of the starter failure issue light on the dash just compliments me so well that I don't think it's worth dropping the transmission for. So in the meantime, let's get on the road because Sandy said he has a surprise for me. The whole team has been putting in a lot of work on the Mustang while I've been gone. I've hired a fabricator. His name is George. You guys will meet him later. 
later, I don't think in today's episode, the Mustang is almost done. And there's a huge surprise that you guys are not going to expect with it. But I, I don't know if that's what he's gonna show me or if it's gonna be something else. Let's head to the shop and find out. <laughs> trailer outside. Sandy's standing there with a shit-eating grin. And he's using his truck. He towed something here. Did you buy another car? No. You didn't buy a car? I didn't buy a car. So what's in the trailer? Well, you know, you've been saying you want a new supercar. Is there a supercar in this trailer right now? Yes. I think I know what it is. <gasps> it is here. It is finally here. I would love to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, Displate. What's Displate? Well, great question. Displate is a one-of-a-kind metal poster designed to capture your unique passions. Displates are sturdy, magnet-mounted, and durable enough to withstand a lifetime of intense staring. All you do is you put the protective leaf on the wall to protect the paint, and then you're going to stick on the magnet. You can customize, collect, and rearrange them at will using their unique magnet mounting system. It only takes 20 seconds to set it up with no power tools, no damages, and no frustrations. Displayed is all about collecting your passions and getting inspired. And I don't know if you guys knew this, but I kind of like cars. That's why I've got these gorgeous prints of some of the most recognizable racetracks in the world. I'm sure you guys will recognize them behind me, but hey, if that's not your speed, Displate has over a million unique designs from brands you love like Marvel and Stranger Things to premium artist designs I know you'll dig. Displates are printed on metal in the EU by their master of production and shipped to your door in four to five business days. And there's never been a better time to get in because Displate is having their biggest discount ever. Make sure you guys click the link in the description below and use my special personalized link in order to get you one to two displays for 35% off, three to four for 39% off, and five or more for a whole 44% off. Thank you, Display, for sponsoring this episode. Now, let's get back to the video. Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> she lives! You guys, this is Sandy's Pantera! Sandy's been talking about this Pantera for so long now. Sandy owns an Italian supercar. We've been dying to bring it on the channel. You don't want to know the best part about that one? It's the only reason why I own one. Right there. Oh, this one even has a Ford badge on it. It's powered by Ford. <laughs> All right, I get it. I see the vision. Nah, isn't that how they did in the car? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this is so cool. This is in such better condition than what I thought, but I'm only seeing the back of yeah, it. Yeah, wait and your till it comes out of the trailer. <laughs> it looks like it came out of a barn. It does. It oh, it's been sitting for years. You got some Magnaflow exhaust coming out the back. You got massively wide tires. We can make her run. Well, let's let's push her off the trailer. Let's change the battery. Let's do another change and whatever else she needs. Let's see if she fires. Mm -hmm. This is with the Cleveland motor, right? 408 cubic inch Cleveland. So this is like probably 800 horsepower. It should be right somewhere around there, I think. This is definitely a barn find for sure. I can't believe it took getting a million subscribers for you to bring this out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now I'm going to question every life decision and jump inside of what could quite frankly end my life. <laughs> There's a nice little sign in here that says, get in, sit down, shut up and hang on. Oh man, look at this. This is cool. <laughs> Everything creaks and makes noise. I love when you're sitting inside of a car and you can just see the outside from any holes inside. There's no passenger seat. There's a layer of dust over everything. And it's probably one of the coolest things that I've sat in in a minute. This is awesome. Your Off engine is literally coming through. And you guys will see that there may or may not be a Mustang under this cover. That is because we have a huge surprise to show you guys. This is gonna look like a completely different car when we're done with it. And I can't wait for you guys to see the final finished version of 
trader. All right, let's take a look under this hood. This car actually has a fiberglass tub, but they took it out because they want to put the 180 headers on it. The 180 headers are so sick. And it makes them sound really exotic. Oh, that'd be cool. I remember when I was at West Coast, I saw a Pintera that was there. It actually had the Coyote, and it was so clean. I sent you a photo of it. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. yeah. These are cool super cars. Cool. These are super cool cars. That car was so clean, you would never drive it, though. Let's swap the batteries, change the oil. Let's see if she starts. One minute, 37 seconds later. So... What was supposed to be a simple battery change and an oil job, of course, turned into maybe a bad motor. There might be a good amount of rust inside of the engine if water's been inside of it, which sucks because I know how much Sandy cares about this motor and how excited he was for it. <laughs> He's been bragging about this Cleveland for so long now. Either it's going to turn over or it's not. So. so I think water got down the carb. I think the tarp flew off, water got down the carburetor, and we didn't catch it in time. And this was like a full adult engine, right? Yeah, it's fully blueprinted, balanced, like all the best of the best. Sandy's been talking about this engine for a very long time. Nope. No, that's locked. Let's roll her. Solid. Really? She's fucking locked up. Solid. All right, so we shoved some PB Blaster into the cylinders. We're gonna hope that maybe overnight it's enough to break it up, but unfortunately, I don't think we're gonna be firing the Pantera today. I don't think we're gonna be driving the Pantera today, but I am really excited that the Pantera is here. Uh, and I'd like to see her run, wouldn't you guys? So comment below, let me know what you think. We can't end this video on a bad note. And luckily the FedEx gods had just arrived with three incredible boxes that I think I should open up. They're for the Mustang. Do you want to see them? Honey, you want to see the wheels for the Mustang? Do you want to see the wheels for the Mustang? Well, they're right there. And they're forge lines and they're beadlocks. As you guys know, I run forge line almost every single one of my cars. I'm a forge line fan girl. These are the CF1Rs. So you know we had to go skinny in the fronts and we also had to fit some massive brakes. So these are 18 by five wheels. Okay, you ready? You ready? You ready? You guys ready for this? All right, open your eyes. Whoa! <laughs> I went with a five spoke CF1R forge line wheels. I love forge line, they're super lightweight. I run them on the 458, I run them on the C8 Corvette, I now run them on the Mustang. You know I'm gonna be running them on the Z06 too. So these are just the front skinnies. These are a nice powder coat white that are going to complement the Mustang very well. Flat face, you got a little concave dip on the inside. These look really good. And I'm really excited for these on the Mustang. Oh my God. You know what? I changed my mind. I'm not gonna show you the rear drag wheels. You're gonna have to wait until I unveil the finished Mustang build. I wanna show you guys these, but I just, they're, they're, they're too good to, to spoil everything right now. Sorry, Sandy. That means you're not gonna be able to see the wheels either. Something tells me that you'll live though. <laughs> <laughs> well, before we call it a night, should, should we at least try to see if she'll turn? Should we at least yeah, try? Let's, 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 let's try. See. Let's see if it's broken. Let's see if it has broken anything up and then we can get some movement in the engine. I'm hearing it whine. I'm actually hearing more now. Oh, no. Oh. Ah. 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 Wait, wait. Okay, it's free. It's free. It's free. It's free. It lives. No freaking way. We're going to need to change the oil again, but. The starter is stronger than me. <laughs> I think I was about ready to snap the crank bolt off. You like, think so? was, I thought you I- You watched, I, you were watching it move and I was watching the motor just stay still. Really? I it swear I thought it. The and then when you're turning it by key, I thought I heard it, was, it a little it bit. It was, it was moving like this. It's been a freely now. Oh, shout out PB Blaster. <laughs> fire you'll do the trick you know you're up to no good when you're literally filling your gas tank with a bucket mm -hmm. this is pretty low fair warning this may smoke <laughs> fuel pump isn't working but a little brake cleaner might help let's see if she fires twenty thousand dollar engine the first time in ten years <laughs> Wow, 
More brake cleaner? No, I think I gotta open the throttle. <laughs> Woo! Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. out the intake. Really? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Out the intake again. Well, at least you know the engine's not seized. It's not seized. It's not happy. But. But she will live to see another day. Sandy, mm -hmm. why don't you tell us what that note was for? <laughs> so, that note says locked. You mean it used to say, Sandy left a reminder on the engine that the distributor is locked. <laughs> and he just saw the note. It's a good thing you left yourself a note. Yeah. But with some fuel, if we can get the fuel pump to work, it's promising. Mm -hmm. Well, obviously I could not end this episode um, without sharing some things I'm thankful for for the Thanksgiving holidays. I'm thankful for you guys. I'm thankful for a million subscribers. This is absolutely insane and nuts. I'm so sincerely, truly grateful and thankful for all of you. I'm thankful I shot Gran Turismo, my first major motion picture, and I had a legit role in it. I'm also thankful for a Christmas movie that I had a very small part in that's going to be out on HBO Max this December 1st. I'm thankful for these acting opportunities. I'm thankful for my car collection. I'm thankful to be able to drive the C8. I would love to hear what you guys are thankful for in the comments below. I feel like it's so important to take the time and to express gratitude and bring awareness in your own self-talk of things you are grateful for because sometimes it can so easily get lost in the day-to-day -day and the anxiety and the stress of what life brings. Um, I write three things I'm grateful for every morning, actually, which some of you guys already know this. Also, thank you to Displit for sponsoring today's episode. I genuinely have been excited to get the artwork up in my office. We've been planning this for quite some time. And just a friendly reminder that the apparel is now live at HartfordLTD.com. Ikru, we out here with love. Bye! <laughs> Whose car sucks more to work on, mine or Troy's? I can't believe you finally brought this out. I never thought I would see the day. Well, I'd show you what a real supercar is like. <laughs>